A new water treatment facility west of I-10 near Irvington is advancing the city's mission to provide a safe, reliable supply of water to Tucson water customers. This plant today is a landmark of what we can do as a city government and what we can do as a community. City staff, elected officials and members of the Unified Community Advisory Board came together to dedicate the new facility. This facility represents our commitment to always put our citizens' safety and meet their basic needs first. When we invest in capital projects, we invest in our people and we invest in our future. That's true of our roads, our streetcar, our water projects. Adjacent to the existing Tucson Airport Remediation Project, TARP, the new plant uses an advanced oxidation process, or AOP, to remove the contaminant 1,4-dioxane from the underground plume at the TARP well field. 1,4-dioxane, an industrial solvent, was used in aircraft manufacturing facilities around the airport from the 1940s to the 1970s. The significance of this plant that we're dedicating today is that it really assures that the water that we deliver to our customers is safe to drink. Representing customers was the Unified Community Advisory Board, which worked with the city to ensure the project received top priority. To keep it in the forefront is very important because as technology improves, they're finding additional contaminants in our water. And this is why the community needs to be forceful, committed to make sure that we continue having clean water for future generations. Safe water, not just clean water, but safe water is very important. With the combined facilities, TARP has the capacity to purify up to 8 million gallons of water each day. 